Hey YouTube, Lucky Nerf are back with a new Nerf video. This time, it's going to be another off-brand gun made by Tech Group, and it was made in China. And it is the Super Splat, which is a version of the Pistol Splat, pretty much. So I'll do a quick firing test right away so you can see how it works. Um, it takes a 5-inch CPVC speed loader, or not speed loader, but I have one for it, and it's a CPVC coupler. You just load the dart in. That one was kind of loose, you might not be able to see that. And then you just press it in like that. This barrel is orange and black, so you can tell it's not a gun, a real one. But And if you didn't see, all you do is prime the lever back, and push it forward, and load the dart in. See, that one is a very tight dart. And I have figured out that there's... Um, that a good barrel fit is actually more important than a heavier weight because here is like a really old dart which is a lead BB but the barrel fit is just horrible and it doesn't even shoot as hard as the ones I just shot still powerful so this gun originally shot paintballs and it actually had a tube coming out this way for the hopper and when you prime this back, it would actually move the hopper back and another paintball would advance and then it would close it and then you fire it. Um, some people complain about theirs having bad stock seals but mine is a very, very good one, like perfect. See, I'm holding it. Um, I don't know if you heard that, but here I'll do it again. And just look at the lever. So. It has a very good steel seal. Um, first reactions about this gun. It has two little nubs right here. This one I have cut and sanded off because it was very uncomfortable. And this one is just small enough it doesn't bother my hand. But otherwise it would be very uncomfortable because it's right there where your hand wants to go. Um, the grip, as you can see, is very nice. It really does like melt into your hand. And the trigger pull is very smooth. Imposter pack. Some also, some people complain about the trigger guard being there. It doesn't affect it. I think it would actually be kind of weird not having it there. But and the paint job right off is really nice. I like it. The blue and silver, so you don't have to worry about painting it. Um, it also has like some little grip things here, like you put your hand here, which like that. So. And to put a CPVC cup on here, you have to sand it out a lot, which is a pain, but it I think it's better than having it just cut off right there, because it has the orange tip there still. There is a zip tie here, cause, just to hold it in more, because I don't have all the screws in it, because I just put this together. The priming rod right here is made out of a bunch of like thick plastic, so you know it's strong, and the bar right here is metal, so... It's not going to break as likely. The spring itself is around 5 inches, a little bit bigger, I think. Mine wasn't getting great ranges. It was getting like 55 modded. And then I put a little spacer behind the spring, and then it was getting really good light ranges. But then that actually compressed the spring down, so it wasn't as good. And just today, I actually um, stretched it out and then took a blowtorch to it, which if you're going to do that, use like pliers to hold it and wait a little while for it to cool off and that's supposed to make it so the spring will never shrink anymore you can still compress it but it won't shrink down ever the coupler is held in by epoxy putty but that actually did come off because this has tremendous force behind it so um, then I just used uh, two part epoxy for that here is like a really small slug dart which is really loose in it do another shot and yeah, tried vacuuming, loading it, because it does have a good seal for this. Um, the bad thing about this gun is, say you break it. Like, I know someone whose plunger tube cracked, and the gun is pretty much useless after that because the spring is so strong that you can't use it in any other Nerf gun, and it's actually really, really thin, like a uh, pencil. The spring would probably fit right over a pencil like a normal one, like that. So, but, 
And I also did cut off part of the little hopper thing here, just so it'd be easier to view down. This does remind me of similar to like a first shot or max shot, just by the way of priming. And there are many different versions of this gun. Um, if you're going to get one, you want to get the, like this one is a PS1000, something like that. And there's one stronger than that, and it's like black and silver. And I actually know there's some at like Shields if you want one, but they cost like $17. Well, so I got this one, which is originally 17 or 16 on sale for $13. So Ranges, I actually don't know because I think it's 70 to 80 a little bit more probably because I was using slugs for it and then I switched my nerves to BBs. So it gained a bunch of range, but then again, it's winter, so I can't do an accurate test. And just today it was a blizzard, so probably not by the time this video is posted, but so if you're wondering to get this gun or not, it's definitely um worth it. So you should go ahead and get one. And there's other mods you can do for this too. Like brass breach or a, just a CPVC breach. So Awkward silence. And goodbye.